Hi, this is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn how to install SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition. So let's get started. So if you want to work on SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition, you need to install two softwares. One is S Database Engine, and the second one that you have to install is SSMS. So that's called SQL Server Management Studio. So first what we'll do is, we will search for SQL Server 2019, and let's download this. Right click on this, copy this, let's go to the browser and I'll search for SQL Server 2019 download. Now it'll take to the Microsoft website so you can see here Microsoft.com click on this. Now once we go to this Microsoft website so you can click on this downloads so here you can see downloads let me click on the tab. Now when you scroll down a little bit you will see developer edition and express edition. So once you see here SQL Server 2019 developer is a full feature free edition licensed for use as a development and test database in a non-production environment. So now let's click on this download. Now you can see here the download uh, is just done. So it just installed a small file and then once we click on this it'll install on the fly. It'll download and install on the fly. So let's go to the folder now now right click on this run as administrator now it asks you do you want to make changes for the computer click on yes now in 10 to 15 seconds it'll open a small pop-up so you can see here SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition is being installed now here you can select basic custom or download media so I'm selecting basic version let me click on this now I need to accept click on this and I'm fine with the file path here installation path now click on install now it's installing the package so you can see here it's showing as around uh, 10 MB or so so it's downloading it may take a while it may take around 10 to 15 minutes now you can see here the file size is almost like 1409 MB so that means it's almost a ZB size right so you can see that the download is almost done so once the download is done it will install the package and one point to note here is that this is available for Linux as well so you can see here SQL Server 2019 is available for Linux as well right so anyway so the download is almost done and once it's done it will start installing so let's see this. It's almost done with the download. Yeah. So once the download is done, it'll verify the integrity of the file. So you can notice here it's verifying the integrity of the file. And now it started with the installing the software. So it may take around five to ten minutes to install the software. And after installing this, we need to install SQL Server Management Studio. Now you can notice here the installation is halfway through so it will take around 5 to 10 minutes time. Okay so now you can see that the developer edition is successfully installed. Now we can install SSMS from here so there is an option to install SSMS or what you can do is you can also search for SSMS download. So what I'll do now is I'll click on this SSMS so this is the editor where we type the queries. So let me click on this. Now it will take me to this website where we can download SSMS. Now see here, so this is the second step that I mentioned in the notepad. So we need to download and install editor. So now, so when you scroll down a little bit you can see here, so download SQL Server Management Studio. Let me click on this. So you can see here the size is almost like 539 MB so you can see here at the bottom so it's downloading so you can notice here that the download is done so now let's go to the downloads folder so show in folder so you can see that the download is done so now right click on this run as administrator I'm installing SQ SSMS now it'll open a pop-up so this is the previous one I'll, I'll close it now 
SSMS will open a pop-up now. So you can see here it's asking for do you want to make changes for the computer? Click on yes. Now in 5 to 10 seconds it will open a small pop-up. So see here now. So we're installing SSMS now. Click on install. You can see here the installation started. So you can see here that uh, installation is done. It's saying like restart is required in order to complete the setup. So we're done with installing. So let me close this. So we're done with installing SQL Server Database Engine. The first thing that we installed and then we installed SQL Server Management Studio. So we're done with installing both the software. So ideally we need to restart. Now I'll show you how to connect to SQL Server Database. So all you have to do is click on start and type here SQL Server Management Studio. So you can see here, this is what we installed. This is the editor that we use to connect to database. Let me click on this. Now I'm opening SQL Server Management Studio. Now you can see here. Now it'll take a while for the first time when you open it, it'll take a while. It'll take around uh, one minute or so. So please uh, be patient. Now you can see here, it just opened this um, uh, pop-up window where I can click on connect. Now I'm able to connect to database. So, so we're done with installing and we are connected to database. Now click on new query and you can create database. Now see here, I'm connected to the server. Now what you have to do is, you can simply create your database. So if you see here, as of now, I don't have any databases, so you can create your database. So create database sample one. Now you can just execute this and you can refresh this databases, right click on this refresh you can see a database got created. Now in case if you're getting an error when you click on connect, let's take for example, now, now when you are connecting for the first time, if you get some error here, so what you have to do is, you need to click on start and type services.msc. Now open the services.msc app. Now inside this, there'll be something called SQL Server. So you can see here, so there'll be a server that has to be running if you want to connect to SQL Server. So this one. So this service is to be in running state. Otherwise, you'll not be able to connect. Now see here, I'll stop the service. Now if it is stopped, now if you go to, if you click on connect, you will get an error. So if you get an error like this, so what you have to do is, you need to open that services.msc and check if the service is running or not. Now see here, it's taking time. I'm not able to connect because the service is not running here. It's stopped. Now I'll get an error. So I'll try for some time and now I'll get an error. Now see that it's trying for 60 seconds or so. So I got an error. So if you get an error like this, a network related instance specific error occurred after you install SQL Server. So all you have to do is you have to go to services and right click on this, start the service. And once the service is running, so you can click on connect and you'll be able to connect. See here now, I'm connected. So hope you are able to understand how to install SQL Server Developer Edition and after that you install SQL Server Management Studio to connect to database. So and I have showed you and uh, thanks for watching and do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.